Yeah, peace. Bringing you another topic of from Brother Shum's Corner. I call this one Mysteries of the Bible, Misunderstandings of the Bible. One of the major topics I see that people have a misunderstanding on is that Christ is the Most High or God. That's a lie. Christ is not God and God is not Christ. Even when the Most High came down in Matthew, the 17th chapter and the 5th verse, the Most High said, this is... This is my beloved son. Hear ye him. So if Christ is God and God is Christ, why is the most high saying, this is my son? Go to Revelation, the fourth chapter. If you go to Revelation, the fourth chapter, you will read about the most high. And you will see Christ coming to him in Revelation, the fifth chapter, as the sacrificial lamb. If this is the Most High and this is Christ coming to them, how can they be the same? They're not the same. They're not the same. It don't make any sense. Christ is the ordained Son of God, one of the many sons of God. When you go to Job, the sixth chapter, it tells you that there was a day when the sons of God came before the Most High Christ was there with Satan also, with Michael and them. So you got to know the Bible, man, before you run your, your mouth saying things that you don't understand. Also, Christ never said that he was the Father. In the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Christ said everything that he did, the power that he did, raising people from the dead, is because the Father gave him the power to do it. Christ said anything that he taught you in the Gospels is because the Father told him to tell it to you. He wasn't talking about himself. But the reason why people get these misunderstandings is they see certain verses in Isaiah where Isaiah prophesied that unto us shall be born a son who shall be called living power, that shall be called God, shall be called the Holy Father. The word God means power. Let me clear that up. The word G-O-D means power. Um, Israel is going to be given back. The Israelite man is going to be given back his godhood power. He's going to be given power to rule this world. Moses had power like a god. Therefore, he was able to call plagues down upon the Egyptians. Father Abraham was like a god. Father David was like a god. Um, Paul was like a god. So many of the Israelite leaders were like gods because we had power. That's what the word God means. So when Christ returns, he's going to be given the supreme power. Not only did he beat Satan, he's going to be given the supreme power. He's going to destroy death. There's going to be no more death. Okay. That's his power. So you got to really read the scriptures. Um, go into the book of Daniel. In Daniel, you see in Daniel is the seventh chapter. You see the ancient of days. That's the most high, Daniel 7 verse 9. The ancient of days is the most high. That's not Christ. And then in Daniel 7 13, you see the son of man who is Christ coming to the ancient of days. One coming to the other. They're not the same. The creation of the universe, that's the Most High. That's when the Most High said, let us create man in our image. You got to know the Bible. That's why the Bible says, study to show thyself approved. Stop believing religion and Christian lies and philosophies.
With that, I say peace.